So the topic of my presentation is uh, understand the roles of academic libraries uh, in undergraduate data science education. And first, I want to uh, acknowledge the team uh, working on this project. Uh, I would like to send away to co-lead this project with me and also Jenny and Enhai are the two grad students in this project. Shanae is, uh, is, is their advisor from ENE. So this project will not be possible without their help. So why we need to the data science education at college? Uh, so data science is called the sexiest job of the 21st century. And a lot of uh, job, uh, job search platforms list data science as the top job, uh, job options uh, in the US. And also it's a, in a really high demand if uh, I just did a simple search, just type type data science uh, in Glassdoor yesterday and figure out there's over a thousand posts uh, in the past day and over 20,000 job posts in the past 30 days. So yeah, with this kind of high demand and popularity, so how can we, uh, how can we educate our students to meet the requirement of the data science jobs? So I think the first question we need to understand, uh, to understand what is the data science? What's the definition of data science? It's kind of a simple question, but as Clarence said, you, you can get so many different uh, answers from different peoples. So I just pick a kind of a conventional definition and, and it's the most, most acceptable one is data science. It's kind of the field of study that, combi that combines the domain expertise, the uh, programming skills, uh, which is kind of data science, and also the statistics to extract meaningful insights from data. So, and by the side, it's kind of for the the popular, the, the popular and famous data science uh, Venn diagrams that can list the three key um, principles of data science, which is computer science, stats, and uh, domain expertise. And the question here is, can these three principles cover all the aspects of data science? So as I'm asking this, so the answer properly is just a no. So data science has two words, it's data and science. If you look at the three principles, they are mainly more related with the science uh, science uh, part, it's the skill part. So that's why the currently people just call this a uh, wind diagram, it's the hard scale data science wind diagram. There are also an, a lot of uh, data aspect pr principles that not include in these principles. So as uh, we have the big data challenges, so we need the knowledge about the data management and data management. And also we have the internet of things and a lot of things going to the cloud. And we have the, a lot of smart things uh, happening. So we need the knowledge of the ethics and privacy and data securities. And also for the data science, they also need some soft skills, like the data communications, and also some skills on the data visualizations. So you combine some uh, data principles. So I think we can cover almost the most of the aspect of data science, and to have a kind of a, kind of a, the theme that can provide uh, our the education to our undergrad students. And the question. The next question is, do we have the enough resources to provide the education uh, in, for all the principles? So the Purdue IDSI list about uh, 111 undergrad courses as the data science course. So the research of this study is try to understand, uh, try to map the landscape of these courses by the six principles at least on the left and then to see what kind of uh, what kind of principles is the focus of uh, current courses and what is not and do we missing something here so the methods is just uh, using the coding coding algorithm and so we have two methods to coding the first one is manual coding using in vivo uh, based on the six principles another one is uh, try to do some computer text analysis to using the computer to do the similar coding, like the manual coding part. So we call it like a, a human versus machine computation. And the results, it kind of not surprised that human can win this computation. But the good thing for the machine is uh, uh, they have, uh, it can have 76% uh, of agreement with the human coding. 
it do help us to adjust for coding from the Herman coding results. So since we have the coding results, and uh, let's take a look at the result, the course landscape by the by the six principles. So so on the right side is the explanation of the code on the figures, and the only confusing part is the data management is MG and the data the domain expertise is DM. So we can see uh, current uh, based on the current course landscape, most of the data science course are focusing on the stats, computer science, and domain expertise. And the data related principles uh, like the data management, ethic, and communication visualization is still have limited resources. And if we split the course by the the course levels, like the first and second years as junior level and third and fourth as senior level, we'll see we have more senior course. We have more senior level courses compared to the junior level. And the, distrib the distribution of the um, six principles is pretty similar between senior level and junior level. And another way to split the course is by the major. So we split the by STEM and non-STEM majors. You will see there's a much more STEM courses uh, compared to the non-STEM courses. And particularly if you see the computer science and the, if you see the computer science and the data data management parts, these two, you see there's barely uh, there's very limited uh, resources for the non-STEM majors in these two categories. And another way to split is the application course and the fundamental course. So the application application course, you can see just the, the specialized uh, data science application for the students uh, uh, from their own study field. And fundamental course is just the introduction course for data science uh, to all the students with interest. So you can see there's more application courses compared to the fundamental course. And that's and also you see the distribution of the principles is pretty even compared to these two categories. So this kind of results uh, do reveal some uh, gaps in the current teaching lands course landscapes and in the teaching curriculum. So we just list some uh, directions to support and uh, to further improve or support the undergrad data science education. So the first one is we need more data related principal courses, like the course uh, about data management, uh, ethics and privacy, and also data, uh, also courses with data communication and data visualizations. Another thing is uh, we may need more courses uh, to talk about introductory fundamental courses uh, at the junior level. So to give the students an early start uh, about the data science uh, career. Also, another another direction is uh, we need uh, more data science courses for the non-STEM majors, uh, particularly for the computer science part, like the programming skills, and also the data management courses. So I, th I think this kind of, uh, these directions have a lot of overlap with the academic libraries like us. And I think, I think we will play a kind of important role here. Uh, and the next step of this study is we we can specify the roles our roles and then just uh, report our results in the in the journals journal, library journals and also report this result to the IDSI and also if you have any common suggestion in this part it will be more than welcome here and after finish this study so the next phase is we can move to the syllabus analysis to further uh, explore the teaching structure and content and to uh, to improve our understanding like uh, what the student can can learn from each course and how they can build their own like uh, learning learning curves and also as uh, the data science course is uh, changing and uh, adding uh, a lot recently like uh, like uh, Clarence just said there's a, a lot of course uh, based on the impacts and our library have a lot of uh, new permanent courses that related to data science so as other departments. So we want to do some update uh, analysis uh, to have to have a uh, in, uh, to have an update understanding about current landscapes.
And also, we are looking for collaborations and funding opportunities. So if uh, please just feel free to contact me and we, if you are interested in this project and all you all you know any information about the funding opportunity to support this project. So I think that's uh, the, my last slide. So thank you.